Hey everybody. We're going to have another look here at my native tank. I went out this afternoon and I collected up some tadpoles. I don't know how many I collected. It's more than a dozen. I know that. It's probably 25 or 30 of them in there. Uh, they're very small and easy to scoop up. So I'm going to go ahead and pour them into the tank and we're going to see if they become food or if they actually just swim around and get left alone. If they make it to the bottom and hide. I uh, don't know what we're going to find just yet. The two sunfish that are in there have been in there for, I don't know, just a few hours together now. The big one that you can see uh, closer to us was already in there. And then that smaller one that's sort of half hidden, uh, that went in uh, later today. And not sure how well that's working out. I don't really know how long I'm going to be able to keep them in there together. So this is my new one. If it'll ever focus, there we go. So hopefully it won't get too abused and brutalized by the original one, which is this one. It's definitely getting more and more comfortable with me around the tank. It doesn't go and hide nearly as quickly. I really have to sort of start doing stuff to the tank before it will actually become a little bit frightened of me. So we are going to do our best to try and pour all these little guys into the tank. There's going to be some uh, detritus and some little bits of leaf and debris that I got caught in there as well. Uh, there is also a little squiggly thing in there. It looks like a little... Uh, I believe they're called water bugs, and it is, uh, again, just this sort of little squidgly thing. Let me do this without knocking this over. Hang on half a second, everybody. All right, sorry about that. It's tough to do everything one-handed. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour these in, and we're going to see what happens. Well, it doesn't look like there's a mad rush towards the tadpoles. I can already see a couple that are dead. Well, I'm most definitely seeing fish swim up to them, put them in the mouth, and spit them right back out. So apparently these are not going to get eaten as food. Oh yeah, I can definitely see these fish are scooping them up and then spitting them right back out. So we are not going to have these little tadpoles get eaten. So this should become really uh, interesting pretty quickly here. There was a good example of a fish taking a shot at one and then spitting it back out. Uh, even this green sunfish right there, which is a pretty voracious eater. Let's see what happens here. Uh, this is the Mayan cichlid. Again, that was a dead tadpole and it seemed to leave it alone. And now it's hitting on one down there and leaving it alone. So I think we're going to have tadpoles in this tank from now on. So that should, well, obviously they'll only be tadpoles until they grow into some sort of frog. I believe these are chorus frogs. I'm, I'm pretty sure these are the, the uh, spring peepers. I collected them directly from the reservoir itself, a very large body of water, but as I was walking back out, there's a couple spots in the trail you've got to walk across um, where springs feed in, and they're sort of muddy and sloppy, and, and you've got standing water there most of the year, and I looked in there, so you can see that sunfish just gobbling them up and spitting them right back out, so they're definitely not interested in them. So as I was walking out and walking past one of those standing bodies of water along the trail, I saw tadpoles in there too. And they were, see, they're just, he goes up to them and he just spits them right back out. So we're definitely going to be uh, left with tadpoles in this tank. They're not going to get all eaten up. Now whether they survive in my water or not will be a different story. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. Well he got something in his mouth back there. I didn't see what it was. Oh, he went after another one. That was another tadpole that it just ate. And that one has definitely eaten these tadpoles unless it spits it out now. But I already saw it just gobble up two of them. 
So, very interesting. This one is not fed since it's been in the tank, and I'm wondering if that's why. It was just hungry enough that it finally ate those uh, tadpoles when nothing else really would. I'm really surprised it's not taking shots at some of the uh, smaller fish in here, but it looks like it just got another one. Oh yeah, he's definitely going around the tank just gobbling up the little tadpoles. See if he doesn't get another one. Well, we've definitely got some uh, tadpoles getting eaten up out of the tank. I'm having a hell of a time keeping him on camera. So I don't know if that's just out of sheer hunger or if it's a species thing. Maybe this particular species doesn't mind the flavor of the tadpoles. Uh, tadpoles, depending on their adult species, can have uh, toxins or whatever else in them, depending on whether they're coming from frogs or toads or whatever. Uh, I do know that. So as I was saying, uh, on the way out from where I collected these were... I'm not sure if it was a different species or not, but it looked different to me, and at the very least, they were much larger than the little tiny tadpoles I just released into this tank. So maybe we'll try getting a few of those within the next couple of days, and we'll put them in, and maybe we'll have two different species of frogs. I don't know. Yeah, this that, that big sunfish, the bluegill back there in the corner, is definitely working his way around and finding tadpoles and gobbling them up. And he doesn't like it when other fish come into his corner. He's definitely claimed that corner as his own. All right, everybody, stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. I will be going out and collecting more tadpoles now that I know they'll get eaten. And I know it'll be a food source for this fish. Uh, we will definitely be doing some more of this. And then that way we'll get a little more natural behavior and this fish that's been difficult to feed will now have a food source and I'm probably going to get in there and take that smaller one out uh, just for that very reason right there I don't want to see this kind of harassment continue so there's probably going to be a lot of juggling a lot of back and forth while I sort out which fish gets along with which other fish and which one's going to eat other ones and so on and so forth so as I said make sure you're subscribed and that way you won't miss any of them don't forget this is my native tank I got plenty of others, but this one's my native. So thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.